All right, I'm sitting here with Mississippi Valley State, Delta Devils, Caleb Johnson, and Ronnie Thomas. Now, guys, I see you guys are here at the Swipe Media Day today. Give me what you all, what, what's your thoughts on everything right now that's taking place so far? Uh, I've been enjoying myself so far. Uh, there's a lot of talking going on, a lot of good energy, a lot of good eats going on here. And, uh, we're just getting ready for the fall. Yeah, hey, they, they definitely had some of that uh, that cornbread, that macaroni and cheese over there. Hey, did y'all y'all get any of that uh, peach cobbler? I know I'm about to go to sleep over here in the hey, second. Boy, hey, I said, I'm going to get me just enough for me to go ahead and get back on this road, man. <laughs> Cause, hey, y'all might be saying, hey, coach, come on, man. Give him out that coat over there, bro. I need you to come on, man. It's over with. But, hey, quick question for you. Caleb Johnson, you rushed the ball for over 1,000 yards last season, averaging 4.3 yards per carry. What have you been working on during the offseason to get your body physically prepared for this upcoming season? Uh, I've trained my diet and I've been working on just uh, speed, getting faster uh, to help, to help uh, for this fall. So I went to a new trainer as well, uh, actually down in Dallas, so they kind of worked on everything. It's funny you say that because I just had a conversation. Uh, somebody got a little upset with Coach because uh -huh. uh, they made the comment about athletes going to trainers as well as camps. Uh -huh. What's something that you can speak on as far as what what's the uh, – do you find it necessary for athletes to go to camps as well as trainers, especially when they're looking to get recruited? When you say camp, what do you mean? Like prospect camps. Uh, I feel like getting recruited, of course, you need to go to, you know, to go to prospect camps. Right. Uh, I feel like as a college athlete, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like it's cool to go to trainers as well, to go to other certain trainers and kind of just picking their brain. You know, right. you're getting new new ideas and new new way to coach and new way to teach it just to help you get better. So okay. I feel like it's probably going okay. All right, all right. Ronnie Thomas, all right, coming off a season with eight tackles for loss, six and a half sacks, how do you expect the offensive line to scheme against you this upcoming season? I feel like I'll probably get a lot more double teams, a lot of lines playing the slide towards more of my way. Right. And honestly, I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be a problem. You still got to do what you got to do at the end of the day, right. dominate, but that also opens up room for the rest of the D-line to do what they got to do, so it's only going to benefit us as a team at the end of the day. So. Okay. So let me ask you this question, guys. What is the Delta Devils' mindset for this upcoming season? Uh, uh, trying to trying to keep the ball rolling from last season. Okay. Uh, we, we ended the season well with, I think, on a two-game winning streak, so we're trying to take that mentality that we have and the mentality that Coach Dancy has instilled with us uh, into the summer workouts, into the fall camp coming up. And that's going to lead us to uh, hopefully more Ws in the win column this season. Okay. Ronnie, time to come back to you again. What part of your game have you been working on in preparation for the season? For the most part, I've been working on my bench and my head, really, and um, working on my run game. I'm okay. Trying to become a more dominant run stopper. All right. Really, uh, really okay. Yeah, just kind of work out the kinks on a lot of passes for me. Like, good passes right now, in my opinion, but I want to become a great one. So, just watching film on uh, guys who did it before me and, and probably better than me just kind of. Exactly. Okay, this for you. What can we expect from the Delta Devils office this upcoming season? Uh, I think it starts with running the ball first. Uh, I feel like we'll be able to continue that. I think we have three out of five offensive lines coming back from some mm -hmm. bad season. Um, quarterback is back with two new additions uh, also in the room. And I feel like we need to uh, take some more shots down the field. You know, uh, our passing game needs to, you know, uh, it needs more work. We need to be more consistent. Okay. And uh, passing game will ultimately help the offense move gotcha. and, you know, and be better for that. What's the chemistry like over there with you guys with all the new additions? Because I believe you guys got a new quarterback that's in camp also, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, it's been cool. So we, we did the spring. Uh, it was the first time we had with our OC from last season. So he's able to implement his offense. He's able to get guys more on the same page. It was more of a slower learning. Right. Uh, just, just to work the kids out. Okay. Okay. What you got to say about the defensive side of the ball? Just trying to find the guys who can step up for the guys that we missed that we um, left last year. Right. You know, no freaking Jerry Garner's gone. Right. So we're just trying to find find guys who can step up in situations like that. We can help the field, you know, the world that's going to with them moving on. But so far, I believe even the side of the ball is as dominant as ever. I okay. We got guys who they got that chip on the shoulder that they want to prove themselves right. and they want to dominate and okay. eventually help us win a swag championship. Gotcha. So this question here is for both of you guys. I'm a new prospect looking at possibly coming to an HBCU. What would be that one thing that you would tell me to make me feel at ease that I need to come to Mississippi Valley State to become a part of your program? Uh, I think it starts with the family. I'm big on family aspect. And and I feel like when I went to Valley, when I'm currently still at Valley, 
it's, it's always been a family. No matter we've been winning, we've been losing, we've always been together. Uh, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't change going to bed at all if I could do it all over. All right. Family actually picked that up. Going to Dallas is like one big family. Gotcha. Like, when you, when you on campus, man, it's just like you know everybody. Like, you know everybody for your whole life. So, right. You know, win, lose, draw. Like Kevin said, we still together. We still family. So, yeah, that'd be the number one thing I'd say. Okay. So, I'm coming, to, I'm coming to a Mississippi Valley State football game. What is the atmosphere and the culture going to be like at that game? You got to come to a homecoming. Homecoming, I, it's an experience at the Valley. It's an okay. experience. It's an experience. That you enjoy. Yeah. Food is gonna be good. Good football, man. You, you come to homecoming. Come to homecoming. Yeah. Come to homecoming. All right. Gotta come to the home. All right. Yes, you guys got anybody you want to shout out out there? Shout out always. Zeta Phi, the best chapter. BDC. Uh, shout out to the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to all my trainers, Coach Juice, Jabaz, Nine On One Phenom. My mom wants to hear about it. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to the family. Shout out to God. Shout out to the Children's Museum. Okay. Shout out to the people that I'm working with. All right. So, do me a favor. Give me a, give me a show. Tell everybody where they can find you at on, a, on your socials. Uh, my Instagram is CJ2K7 with an underscore. Mm -hmm. uh, that's Facebook, Caleb Johnson. <laughs> Instagram, Ron Thomas, with a zero instead of an O. Okay. Facebook, Ron Thomas. All right. Well, guys, I appreciate you. Hey, we're going to go ahead and tune out with Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils football players at the SWAC Media Day. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Thank you. All right.